Hey guys, welcome back to Frilly Walking and welcome to my old neighborhood. We are here in Santo Domingo in Ensancha Miraflores. This is a mid to high level uh, sector in Santo Domingo and it is really, really close to the main avenues in town. So if you're looking to buy or rent here in Santo Domingo, this is a wonderful option. I'm gonna show you around, tell you what it's all about, the price ranges of the apartments here and the houses. You're gonna love it because it has a little bit of diversity between the actual houses and apartment buildings here. I see you watching my videos and you're not subscribed. And I'm asking myself, why? Why are you not subscribed? ¿Por qué no te suscribes a mi canal? How many languages do I have to tell you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already? And also hit that like button if you like what you see. Sanche Miraflores is wonderfully located right in the middle of avenues of Maximo Gomez, John F. Kennedy, and Leopoldo Navarro. So it is a very good location to be in. Right here, we can turn off of 27 de Febrero Avenue and you are right here in Miraflores. And as you will see in between these streets, Miraflores is a mix of not only residential areas, but also commercial side. I, I was reading in my research the news about Miraflores and all the residents are kind of per worried about the high traffic that it has been getting in this sector because of the new commerces and businesses that have been located here. So basically the residents are finding it hard, you know, to find parking spaces for their visitors and things like that because Miraflores is so nicely located. So a lot of businesses are coming to this.
Another main feature of this sector is the fact that here lies Universidad Evangelica. That's the building you're seeing right now. It is the Evangelical University. And as you turn to your left, you have right away this beautiful old school building that you see to your right is actually for Listín Diario, which is one of the most prominent and important newspapers in the country, if not the most prominent and important. Now I'm going to take you to where I used to live here in Miraflores. I lived here a few years back and I moved out of the sector because I wanted a little bit of an upgrade, but it was not because the sector itself was bad or anything. Soon as I turned into my old street, this happened between these two cars. They almost crashed right before me. I was a little bit freaked out at first, but thankfully nothing happened at all and I just kept on recording. So basically I used to live in this cul-de-sac, which is a dead-end street, very, very tranquil. You can barely hear any noise from the main avenues that were close by. And this yellow wall at the end is actually the wall for Caribe Tour. So I used to live right behind Caribe Tour. This second story house was actually remodeled while I lived here and I used to live in this little yellow house in the first floor. It was a rental. Um, I had a very good time while I lived here so good memories guys, good memories. Uh, these neighbors, I remember them. I remember the neighbors that lived here as well. And this other street is another dead end street as well. Here you're going to see very little quaint houses and buildings, um, very nice overall and very well kept even though the buildings are mostly on the older side. Now when it comes to prices for the homes here, as you can tell, a lot of the houses here have been turned into buildings or commerces, but there are still actual livable homes. As you can see, most of them are one story tall, so they are on the older side, but they still, they still maintain their charm in my opinion. I love these type of homes. Look at this one that was actually remodeled. This yellow one looks very, very beautiful, and one of those old Older ones that are only one story I saw was listed for around $285,000. I am guessing that is not any house that has been remodeled or anything. It was probably an older home, one that needs remodeling, but just the location alone can bring you a lot of bang for your buck in that sense. Apartments here. They vary a lot depending on if you're getting a modern one or an older one. I saw a one apartment that was already furnished and it was $600, but it was a more modern building. But there are um, less expensive ones that are like probably $300 for rent or something like that. So you can get a gist that this sector can... Um, be a good option if you're looking to stay in the middle of town but not have to pay luxury prices of Naco and Bandini for example. This building right in front of us is a very well-known Christian church and also in this street we have a lot of little plazas they're building so this street is going to have a lot more little businesses for example look at this little plaza in the corner that they're still in construction of but um, it promises to be a very very good thing for 
the population of Miraflores sector. Also, there's a high school right to our left over here. It is very famous and a lot of students go there. All in all, you guys, I hope you were able to appreciate the fact that in this sector, you not only have good location, good bank for your buck, but also you have a lot of things close by. So you would have stores, universities, even Unibe is literally in Miraflores. Most people think it's Gasque. I thought it was Gasque myself, but when I looked at the map, even Unibe, which is one of the most prominent universities here, is in Miraflores. There's also a lot of banks, a electrical center, which you see to your right over here. Very, very important things happen here in Miraflores, and it is underestimated, in my opinion. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Miraflores sector here in Santo Domingo. Comment down below if you've ever heard of this place, or if you haven't, raise your hand down in the comments below as well. This is me signing out, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.